this is Connie from the Kinsman Free Public Library, and today I thought I would share some sites that will help you learn to code at home. We have used a couple of these at the library, so I will be sure to let you guys know which ones we have used and which ones I've only kind of played with. Our first one is code.org, and we have at the library played with their Hour of Codes, which are just real short, quick projects, usually for kids to help them learn the basics. There, there is some actual code writing, but it tends to be block coding, so they can just drag and pull and connect things to kind of get the basic idea of how to solve the puzzles. Code.org is specifically geared towards kids, like that elementary through high school. They do have some more adult gear classes that they offer, but it tends to be more gamified so that kids have an easier time picking it up. It's also free. Their hour of codes are completely free, as are a lot of their projects. Some of the stuff you might have to pay, but they, they're really good about letting you know that you have what you have to do. Scratch is probably the most well-known coding program. This is for kids. We've kind of played with it, but not too much. Scratch is actually created by MIT. And it is a block coding site that lets kids drag and pull blocks of commands and connect them together to make different projects. Khan Academy tends to be more for like teens and adults. It's all code writing. There aren't any block and pulls. So this might is good for anyone who actually wants to learn the actual bits of coding or for anyone who feels that block coding is a little too simple for them. We also have Code Academy. Code Academy is a mixture of paid and free courses. It tells you though which are paid and which are free. It also gives you a bunch of different languages that you can learn. So if we click on Python, you'll see that the skill paths are for pro, so you will have to pay for those. And then Learn Python 2 is free, but all the others you would have to get a subscription for. Whereas under HTML, they have a few more free courses, and each language is going to be a little bit different on what they offer free first paid. Coursera doesn't just offer coding courses, it offers courses in everything and will give you certificates as well so that you can kind of attach those to any diplomas you already have to kind of boost your resume. This coding course is JavaScript and HTML as well as CSS and is offered by Duke University. It will let you give, it'll give you the certificate of completion so you can add that on and it's completely free. It also starts today, so if you want to do this, totally hurry up and get it all on that. Skill Crush also offers a ton of different courses, whether for free or for a small fee. Their Code Camp, though, is going to teach you HTML and the CSS, JavaScript, and WordPress, web design, user experience, and even give you kind of a basic idea of what it's like to actually work in careers centered around coding. And then finally, we have Udemy. Udemy also isn't just coding. It offers a whole bunch of different things, but under their coding, they have a mixture of free and paid as well. You can narrow it down though. As you can see, they have a significant amount of free courses for this. And it's got everything from just learning about how Google does its thing, to JavaScript, making your own game, it's a whole bunch of different kind of really fun stuff. Alright, so that is our video on a few different coding websites. Let us know if you played with any of these or if you're going to use any of these. We've tried code.org, we've done the... Code Academy and Con, and we really liked them. They were a ton of fun. Thanks for listening.